now let us start with the functional areas of the brain uh, we have already know about the sulci and gyris of the cerebrum here we'll see gyris which has been taken up by the areas called the functional areas of the brain so this numerical demarcation is done by broadman uh, on experimental basis so we come to know about these areas now this is your central sulcus this is your precentral so it is a precentral gyri this is postcentral so this is a postcentral gyri this is a paratoxipital this is interparietal sulcus superior parietal lobule inferior parietal lobule okay this is lunate sulcus in the occipital area this is superior frontal area gyri sulci this is inferior frontal sulci so this is superior frontal gyri middle frontal gyri and inferior frontal gyri okay now this is your lateral sulcus these are the Uh, uh, ascending and the horizontal and the ascending limb of the lateral sulcus. This is a posterior ramus. This is superior temporal sulci. This is inferior temporal sulci. So this is superior temporal gyrus, inferior middle temporal gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus. Now, what this gyrus is being occupied? The motor area, primary motor area, is occupying the place. This is your the uh, area number four that is in the precentral gyri. and for the association fibers for the motor activity because uh, it is only registration of the motor activities from the area 144 and the, the decoding of this uh, informations are being done by the area number 6 and the area number 8 these are called pre motor area or these are supplementary motor areas now now pre motor area number 8 this is also called frontal eye field area which is helping the eye in accommodation reflex Now coming to area number nine, ten, eleven. This again the frontal lobe. Front. This is called prefrontal cortex. Very important one. This is the decision making area. Whatever information is given by the sensory system, this three one two, they will convey all this information to the association for nine, ten, eleven. That the decoding has been done of the sensory information. The decision is taken, analyzed, and then being conveyed to the motor system. So nine, ten, eleven area is the main decision making area of the brain. Now coming to this area, there is a pars orbitalis and the pars triangularis. These two areas are 44, 45. This is called motor speech area Broca. So this is Broca's motor speech area. Because of this 44, 45 area, we can speak. The motor muscles activity, which is activated for the uh, formation of the articulation, that is by the area number 44 and 45. Now this is your the lateral sulcus. The lateral sulcus. This is being the one sulcus which invaginated with the superior temporal gyri. That is area number forty one and forty two. This is called the primary auditory area. Whatever information should we hear that is being decoded by the forty two. This is sensed by the forty one and decoded by forty two. So all information comes to area number forty one and forty two for the auditory function. Now coming to the area number forty-three, just above the lateral sulcus, this is the test area. Whatever we eat, so that area when the central sulcus comes to approach the lateral sulcus, this area is called the test area. Whether it is shower, smell, sweet, this is being done by this area called the test area. Now the stem of the posterior ramus will forming this evolution called supra marginal gyri, that is area number forty. And the superior temporal gyri that is forming an angulation, this is called area number twenty-two. So this is inferior 20, middle 21, and superior is 22. This 22 area is called warning speech area. So warning speech area that is the conscious speech. That speech is given by the help by this warning area. Sensible speech, and this is called supra marginal gyri. So here is the angular gyri. And supra marginal gyri 22 is for the warning speech area. One is vocal motor speech area. One is warning. Sensory speech area, sensible speech to be done by the broca for the articulation. Now coming to this area 39, this is the angular gyrus, which is for higher visual area. So higher visual area, this will give the input from the 17, 18, 19. This is primary visual area. So primary, this is striated area, parastriated and peristriated area. Whatever thing we see by the optic nerve that is being Received by the area number 17, decoded and analyzed by area number 18, 19, and that is being sent to 39 for higher visual area for the synthesization of whatever uh, sense, whatever we see by vision, that is being de-integrated, integrated, decoded, and integrated by area number 39. 
and the 39 and 40 these two areas are also having the function of language area that means anterior and posterior language area so if this area number 39 and 40 and 22 is affected there is sensory aphasia and if the 44 45 is affected it is called motor aphasia the patient cannot speak out that is motor speech area and the patient will cause incorrigible insensible languages so that is by the area number 13 injury to the area number 39 40 and 22 this is your sensory one each sensory area now coming to the primary sensory area 312 this is a primary sensation which is being dating called somesthetic sensory area this is according to the granular cortex this is three mostly annual then less then uh, uh, between the two this is the areas for the primary sensation to be received and decoding is done by area number five and seven this is the secondary sensory area which will decoding the sensation ultimately sent to the area number nine ten eleven for taking the decision so these are the motor areas and the sensory areas and other areas which are affected in our brain for the full activity coming over on the medial surface this area reciprocate to the same so you see this is a 9, 10, 11, 12, this is a prefrontal cortex area, this is a 6, 8, this is your the uh, association motor area, this is your motor area, this is your sensory area, these are the associated uh, sensory area. 17, 18, 19, these are visual areas, but which is very important on the medial surface, this is an area number 28 in the uncus, that is called smell brain, the smell area, all facial lobes will be received over here. So this is the area meant for smell. Before there gondo pawa bhaghane no adho bojanang that is this area will reciprocate that is area number 28. So olfaction is a primary sensation of a uh, uh, animal or mammals or any kingdom that will sense the danger. So this is the area which is a primitive, most primitive sensation of the brain that is an olfaction. So these areas Middle surface are only this area which is very important otherwise everything is on the superlateral surface and for recap you have to go through the functional areas which is very important from theoretical point of view.